of power guys what's up guys got the new arm of big rock crew cab back out 17 scale this thing has been an absolute blast to drive even in stock form it's definitely super fast with stock electronics but i figured after the second run of some extreme bashing it was time to go ahead and uh beef this baby up with some m2c racing and basher queen i'll show you real quick she is now m2c tough basher queen tough you might notice the beautiful chassis here now m2c racing four millimeter 7075 this is also the same chassis that fits the fire team and the mojave i'll go ahead and pop the lid right here again she's still running stock electronics a stock servo punch nine on the esc 17 tooth pinion on the uh, stock motor uh, 6s as so you can see some beautiful m2c racing upgrades in here along with some basher queen i want to show you this beautiful basher queen uh, five millimeter carbon fiber top plate and brace mounts right here these are 70 75 brace mounts just beautiful work this beautiful carbon fiber tower by basher queen here's a rear brace mount uh, which fits perfectly with the m2c racing tower and also a uh, rear uh, tower brace this makes for a nice icing on the cake upgrade if you've got a, a beautiful m2c rig if you want to add some extra bling to it check out basher queen i'll put a link in the description for all these upgrades and for the basher queen upgrades but i'll do a quick comparison of the fire team and the crate together i've had a lot of guys ask me about that as far as size comparisons here's a quick shot next to the fire team again it is the exact same platform as far as size goes exact same length the big rock is a little bit wider and here's a shot next to the crate and exp 18 scale so you can see the big rock is definitely about an inch longer or so being 1 7 scale and then sitting next to the new team Corelli Kagama as you can see which is about crate in size so it's still a good inch inch and a half longer guys I'll put a link to all the upgrades in the description and also my affiliate link to buy this truck if you guys want to check that out help support the channel I'd really appreciate it but anyway let's give her a quick run see what's up guys you know what time it is it's time to send the big rock off into the death pit right here this is a major downgrade <laughs> it's like at least 50 or 60 feet vertically down and jumping off this ramp it's, it's definitely no joke so let's see if she'll take it got us up there oh and it survived oh uh, loss of power guys and somehow it landed flat oh man i got lucky <laughs> man even completely m2c to basher queen from that height that might uh, be catastrophic the rc gods are on my side yep had a battery disconnection man that was close <laughs> that could have been brutal and up the mountain we go ah that's a big jump <laughs> ah, she flipped over because i might put a gps on that i might break my 105 foot vertical record with the typhon out here and up the mountain we go again all those crazy vertical jumps m2c chassis still perfectly straight definitely the best backbone to any rig you can get
All right, guys, let's super send it. No time to be laying down. Nice little after bounce. Things a tank now, guys. Oh, that was close. stupid oh I had a power loss might be LBC <laughs> Oh, that was rough. Hey guys, I just love this truck. Even on stock electronics, it has loads of power, which is crazy. Being a 1.7 scale truck. All right guys, that's gonna be a kind of a short video. I just really wanted to get this thing out and pound it uh, since she was upgraded now with the M2C and Basher Queen. The body is starting to take on some damage just from all these brute force landings and uh, extreme rolls and stuff. I do have a crack going up through here, which I tried to uh, sew with a zip tie, but it busted loose. Uh, but overall, I mean, the thing is it's still in one piece. It's just gonna take a little bit of body work. But again, big thanks and shout out to M2C Racing and Basher Queen. Her uh, brace mounts did perfect. Her awesome carbon fiber tower to tower brace did perfect. Of course, you're not gonna bend that. And her uh, front brace and five millimeter carbon fiber top plate did perfect. So if you guys wanna check out these awesome upgrades, I'll put a link in the description, along with all the M2C upgrades, the chassis, the braces, and uh, rear tower brace right here. Guys, again, if you wanna check out this truck, please check out my affiliate link, help support the channel. And I'll put a link to all these upgrades in the description as well. All right, guys, it was a whole lot of fun. A uh, big shout out again to Armin Horizon Hobby for another awesome truck. We'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81, peace out.